Hi YouTube, it's Alan Sugano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group and today's topic is about some of the top requirements to get cyber insurance. So um, if you've had to renew your cyber insurance, a lot of times companies are now, hey, are you doing all these? Nah, 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 nah. The reason why that is is the cyber insurance, the insurance companies that wrote cyber policies were getting barbecued because they had all these many, these claims. So now they're saying, okay, you need to do all of these steps in order to be insurable. So one of them is MFA, multi-factor authentication. Are you doing multi-factor authentication? We recommend you do multi-factor authentication even if you're in the office logging on to your local PC. It's just getting too scary out there. The takeaway from here is passwords are not good enough anymore. Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. Get over it. Uh, also, do you have an incident response plan? Incident response plan, right, is how you don't want to have to try to figure out if you have a security incident how to properly respond to an in an emergency right oh let me set your hair on fire first and then you need to figure out what the proper response would be even though your hair is on no that's a bad idea you kind of need to plan this ahead of time so that you could go okay this is what's happened. You do this, you do this, you do this. I have another video about how even we recommend implementing, uh, ing integrating Slack or Teams so that you can coordinate your response uh, so that people are not duplicating effort and they're not missing anything in your team. That's really important. Also, what are you doing about patching? Do you have some type of centralized patch management system? Um, are you patching both operating system and applications? Are you up to date with the patches? How often do you deploy the patches? How do you verify the patches? They got the memos. Also vulnerability scans. Uh, we recommend doing a vulnerability scan at least quarterly or sometimes even monthly, depending on what comes back. Um, we have found with that exception, even if you're patching on a regular basis, when you run a vulnerability, hey, you missed this, you missed this. It's that reality check. It's that trust but verify that everybody got the memo. Really, really important. Also, end user training. End user training is important, uh, especially because the major attack vector for uh, uh, hackers is, uh, is either spear phishing or phishing. You know, hey, click on this link to win a million. Okay, I'll win a million dollars. No, don't click on the link. So, you know, just having awareness. Uh, also, with end user training, we found that um, regular weekly end user training is is way more effective than having annual training annual training goes in one year and leaks out in about a couple of days so you kind of need that constant you know front of mind hey this just let you know people are trying to get it all the time you need to keep your your antenna up for uh looking at uh, potential uh compromises also they may require application whitelisting or allow listing so you know if an application is not on this list it won't it won't run on your environment that's probably one of the best protections against ransomware by the way so that's not a comprehensive list your ins your cyber insurance company may provide uh, may require additional things but those are some of the really common um, uh, items that cyber insurance companies are now requiring in order for you to be to be insurable not even just to be insurable so Anyway, that's our tip of the week. If you like this content, please boink at the subscribe button, boink at the like button. If you need any help um, and you're renewing your cyber insurance policy and you find that you have gaps, we can certainly help you fill those gaps. You can send an email to info at adscon.com. Thanks a lot for listening. Stay safe out there. We'll talk to you soon.